Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie and today I'm going to be part of a collab with several other ladies that will be sharing fall decor DIYs. So I will share all the links in the description box below. And we're going to be jumping right into some of these DIYs for fall. I'm going to start with a faux pumpkin makeover. This pumpkin I've had for a couple years now. I got it at Hobby Lobby and I am going to be using this air dry clay that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be using a variety of paints but mainly this putty color and sage from Rethunk Junk that I just had on hand uh, but you can use whatever paints you have if you want to recreate this look. Some jute twine, I wanted some thicker that you can unravel easier and also some Maj Paj. I am going to start off by rolling out some of that air dry clay and kind of just making faux ridges to my pumpkin and making them look more realistic by adding more height and then adding more texture to the ridges. Once I'm done adding my ridges and texture to my faux pumpkin, I'm going to go ahead and paint it. The container on the air dry clay does mention to let it dry for two to three days, but I didn't have time to wait, so I did paint it straight after adding it to my pumpkin, and it still ended up working and drying as normal. I'm going to paint the whole pumpkin with this putty color first and then i'm going to add another layer of paint with fresh sage i'm not gonna let the paint dry in between i kind of want that mixture of colors for a more realistic look give me more of a realistic heirloom muted green color i'm adding this chalk paint in sheepskin color to dry the paint faster and add more texture to my faux pumpkin i'm using my embossing tool if you don't have an embossing tool you can add texture to your pumpkin by adding small dots of various sizes with a glue gun before you paint it. To add a little bit of a realistic look to my stem, I am going to be using some jute twine. I'm going to use some hot glue at the base and I'm going to use strips of the jute twine all around the bottom. Once I have done that, I'm going to unravel each of the strips until it looks like a big chunk of hair. And then I'm going to use a paintbrush and mosh posh the entire set of jute twine.
once I have a good amount of mosh posh on the jute, I'm going to be sprinkling some cinnamon. Now this part of the stem, I did not come up with this. I got this idea off of a couple blog posts on Pinterest and I just decided to give it a try for this faux pumpkin makeover. Once I'm done adding my cinnamon, I'm just going to cut the excess of the twine off and just kind of mold it to where it has a flawless seam at the end. And then I'm just going to glue the stem back onto the pumpkin. next DIY I'm going to be making a placemat cornucopia I got this idea off of the country sampler the farmhouse style edition and I saw this in one of their DIY pages but the blog or the post was to actually sew a cornucopia off of a placemat that is made out of jute like the one I have I decided I did not want to completely ruin this placemat in case I ever wanted to use it. So I came up with the idea of just putting it together with some ribbon or some type of cord. So you want to grab a circular type of jute material placemat and in the center you want to put your floral block and then you want to do like a taco wrap. Once I have my basic taco shape, I am starting to mess with it towards where the back is narrow and the front part is wider. Once I have the shape that I like, I went ahead and wrapped it together so everything stays in the same place and the shape that I like and the front part i went ahead and rolled it back just a bit so that way it looked more like a cornucopia So the inside of the cornucopia can be styled in many different ways. I went a very cost effective way, but also a harvest theme type of styling for this cornucopia. So I'm using some of these oat florals that were half off at Hobby Lobby and I just cut them apart to pieces to stretch them out a bit. I'm also using the rust color dried florals from the fall section as well and then I'm also using some lotus pods from the dried section at Hobby Lobby as well. This next DIY is super simple and these are napkin rings that we're making. I got these acorn bells from Hobby Lobby and they are half off because they're uh, part of their fall line. And just using some ribbon or cord, whichever you'd prefer. And I'm just going to have the ribbon tied to one of the acorns on one end and on the other end have the other acorn tied and just using that to wrap around the kitchen towel or kitchen napkin 
and that will be my napkin ring. last project is this wreath that looks like a bow and I got that at Hobby Lobby. I'm using some of this eucalyptus faux greenery that I already had on hand but Hobby Lobby does sell these dried eucalyptus that you could get there and use it for this project if you don't have any on hand that look like this. and. I'm using some ribbon as well. I did use some leftover lotus pods here on this wreath. I did not film it, but you will see it at the end of this video. And I am just going to be adding the eucalyptus florals onto here. I am not going to glue them down or use anything to secure them. Weaving the florals into the twigs of this wreath gets the floral secured pretty well and I am just going to add my ribbon and add a bow to the center.
thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas for fall decor DIY, especially for a tablescape. Don't forget, this is also a collab with several other ladies. I will make sure to leave their links to hop to their videos down in the description box below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you here at Consider It All Joy. And you can do so by clicking the red subscribe button down below. I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.